Buzz, it is Jen, your exclusive startup business coach. Welcome to Pretty Money Gang. Remember, check in hashtag Pretty Gang in the comments, calling on my braiders. I want to talk to you guys about three ways your braiding business can start strong in 2020. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of things that you can do that can either bring you more clients, get you seen more, or just so that you can make sure your braiding business is on point, okay? So the first thing that I want you guys to start doing is start doing reviews. Yes, I said it, start doing reviews. Here's the reason why. People may not find you, but they might be searching for a popular product. Well, who best to tell you about a popular product than a braider who utilizes the product? So Go ahead and make sure you're reviewing popular products like how you guys see on the screen. I have the Got To Be Glue. I have the Edge Control. I have the Vante. For those of us who are braiders, we have probably all used either all of them or at least two of them. Okay? The next thing you want to do when you're doing these reviews is geotag your content. So when you're making the reviews, make sure you're putting your city. Make sure you're putting your state because, um, yes, a whole bunch of people will see your reviews, but you want to make sure that you geotag it so people know geographically where you are. Because if you put, okay, I'm going to do a Vante review and I'm in LA, okay, boom. And then you even have to be more specific. Is this LA, Louisiana? Is this LA, you know, California? So make sure you're geotagging your content. Also, make sure you have a point of contact. Let people know how you want them to contact you. Do you want them to email you? Do you want them to slide in your DM? Do you want them to text message you? Okay. And then at the end of when you do your reviews, you want want to ask for the sale. You're going to do a review on, say you're going to do that review on the edge control. Hey, this is edge control. I think you should use it like this. I think it's good. I think it's bad. Whatever you say, and then you make sure you plug yourself and say, hey, by the way, you guys, I'm a braider in the um, DMV area. And make sure if you guys need your hair braided, boom, contact me. So make sure you guys are tapping into doing reviews. You can do a review on the blog. You can do a review on Instagram. You can do a review on Facebook. You can do a review on YouTube. Okay. The next thing that a braider can do is do something extra, okay? A lot of us, yes, we're braiders, but there are extra things that we can do, you guys. Like, here's some things that I used to offer and you can offer too. I used to offer sewing on people's wig caps. Like, I literally would do them a beehive, and I knew that they were about to get their, their weave sewed in, right? And I would say, hey, you want me to sew on your wig cap for you? Some people would say yes. Some people would say no, but it's still something that you can offer extra, okay? Um, something else is washing hair. I used to wash and blow dry hair. Um, I know how to put on the strip eyelashes. That's something that you can offer. Also, if you know a good skincare regimen, right, you can offer that to your client. Like literally one of my favorite skincare regimens is boom, we put on a black soap, boom, we wash it off. Then we go ahead and we put on um, the uh, get well, black soap, wash it off. Then you go ahead and you put on the um, cucumber soap, boom, wash it off, boom, put on the um, vitamin E oil, boom, you out of here. Okay, so that's something extra that you can offer. Okay, the next thing that you something you can do is give away something. We all like free stuff, but the thing about free stuff that many of us don't like is you don't like free crappy stuff. You want to make sure that you're giving away something good, something useful, and something affordable for you, right? Lashes, brushes, scarves, lip gloss, even oils, right? A lot of these things can be found at your local dollar store, and it's something that you can give away to your people. And even right here to the far right of the screen, literally you can make it something where it's kind of a goodie bag so that you can be remembered, right? So literally say if you have some lip gloss and then you do like a little baggie like they have here, maybe put some mint and lip gloss and your business card, right? That's a way to advertise. And believe me, that person is going to remember you and they're going to remember that you gave them something free that was good, that was useful. Okay, so that's something else that you can do. And last but not least, you guys, I want you to have an appointment book. Write down the date you do somebody's hair. Mark it for two weeks later. Contact the client afterwards. It's all about the follow-up, right? You want to contact the client and say, hey, by the way, um, by text, by email, by DM, everybody reach out to you, you reach out to me, just let them know, hey, um, are you interested in me doing your hair? Are you interested in another appointment? Let me know. And I'm going to be honest, there's a 50-50 rate with me. Some people say, yeah, some people say no. But I don't want you to follow up because the way to keep clients is to follow up, okay? And...